Hey guys, welcome to Wait For It. The global fitness and health club industry generates more than 80 billion US dollars in revenue per year. One of the reasons for this impressive amount is to please the man in the mirror, or maybe the woman too for the dudes. How old are you? No, we are not talking about the chronological age. We are speaking about the physical age. No, do not get scared. Don't get scared. If you don't feel the way you should at your age, do not worry. You can control it. I would like to take you all through this simple instance. Let's quickly go through the different concepts of mass and weight, which are so often used interchangeably. See, mass remains constant irrespective of where we are in the universe, whereas the weight of an object changes with respect to the pull of gravity around us. So with that said, let's jump to the moon. The pull of gravity is only a sixth of, of that on Earth. The pull of gravity is only a sixth of that on Earth. Hence, one will weigh a fraction of what they weigh on Earth, on the moon. Which also leads to many people joking about how they be thinner on the moon. Which means, yes, your joints need to work hard to keep your marvelous self uptight on the Earth than on the moon. Now, along with this pandemic arises another pandemic, which is called the sedentary lifestyle. This pandemic has been since a few years now. This pandemic has prevailed since a few years now. As we are home the entire day, pretty much stationary for most of it, this leads to tight muscles, it messes up our joints and inhibits joint mobility, which snowballs to various problems such as lower back pain at a very early age. Now coming to strength, we may relate this to how everyone thinks of strength as increasing poundage over time, which if rushed will lead to injuries and thus will put you on the back foot. But yes, strength is also imperative for posture and tight muscles, which are again caused by sedentary lifestyle. When you exercise, your body releases something called as endorphins. These endorphins chemicals interact with your brain to reduce your perception of pain. Endorphins also trigger a positive feeling in the body. I am sure each and every one of us could do with some of these with all that's happening around us. Going back 300,000 years when the first Homo sapiens wandered on the savannas of Africa. Life back then till the first industrial revolution was predominantly on our feet. And a major part of that was even us foraging around. We are really not built to live the way we do right now. That's a sedentary lifestyle. So any form of exercise is beneficial for our overall health and wellness. Any form of exercise is beneficial for overall health and well-being. An important form of exercise is resistance training. Resistance training basically helps us in several ways, namely joint protection, bone strengthening, it prevents long-term detriments like arthritis, it helps to improve bone density, and just like our muscles, our bone too adapt to stimulus or load. Now coming to an interesting topic called sacropenia. Sacropenia basically is the degeneration of skeletal muscle and loss of strength over time. Although aging is the main cause of the sacropenia, there are other factors which contribute towards it, namely living a sedentary lifestyle, getting little or no physical activity on a day-to-day -day basis. This puts people at an increased risk of developing this problem as they age. Now going towards cardio, the next component of any sort of exercise. Now doing cardio won't give you the bang for your buck, but what it will do is, it will help you shape a good cardiovascular system, which directly contributes to having a low RHR. Which refers to your resting heart rate. Your resting heart rate should always be low. A lower RHR helps have a healthy CVS, but this low RHR should be through exercise only, as any other reasons for having low RHR could be pathologies. Now let's take the example of Daniel Green. 
this man has had the lowest recorded rhr ever in the history of mankind at the age of 81 keep in mind the accepted levels are between 60 to 80 heartbeats per minute now let's address the elephant in the room the myth that lifting weights stunts height this myth is around because people believe the lifting weights over one shoulder or carrying it on the back compresses your spine and thus stunts growth but this is not just the case the biggest concern around children lifting is injury to growth plates with the biggest concern around children lifting weights is the injury to growth plates but there hasn't been even one conclusive evidence sabotaging growth plates but yes if you're one of those people who just swing the weights once you enter the gym even god can't help the fact that performing so the movements at the gym in an incorrect manner and without any supervision can be harmful is a given because you wouldn't give a minor your car to right i know some of you have been dragged into this by family by friends but it's definitely worth the shot in the long run but just going to the gym for the sake of it or just starting out isn't going to change a lot you have to know the how and the why always ask the why and our mission is to answer this why and that's exactly why we are here to show you what you have to do but you know for that you have to wait for it